We welcome everyone as we come before you today from the sanctuary of Southtown Apostolic Church. We're certainly praising God and giving God praise for his many blessings that he has bestowed upon us and all that he is doing and all that he has done in the uh, lives of his people. And we just want to praise God, give God praise for us being here and lift him up in this place today because we realize that there is uh, no, nobody like him, amen? And we give him glory and we give him praise because we realize he is worthy to be praised, amen? Victory, victory shall be mine. Victory, victory shall be mine If I hold my peace And let the Lord fight my battles Victory, victory shall be mine Victory, victory shall be mine Victory, victory shall be mine if I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battles, victory, victory shall be mine. Joy, joy shall be mine. Joy, joy shall be mine. If I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battles, Joy, joy shall be mine When I think of the goodness of Jesus And all he has done for me My soul cries out, hallelujah Praise God for saving me Thank God for the blood, thank God for the blood, thank God for the blood that washes white as snow. Gathered in the sanctuary, we certainly have 
reason to express our gratitude unto the Lord for his loving kindness toward us, his uh, benefits toward us. We just give him glory today. Amen. We give him glory. We give him praise. Amen. Because he is worthy of all praises today. We want to thank each of you. Amen. As you come to worship the Lord uh, by way of our service schedule, we will continue to have service in person and also on the live stream on Sunday morning. Amen. And we just give God the glory. Amen. For his blessings. And by way of our Bible class, uh, we will have our lesson study given out. And then we will have our next in-person Bible class in the uh, month of July, and you will be given that date. But our Bible class lesson study for this week is Proverbs 25. Proverbs 25 for our Bible class lesson study, amen, for this week. Proverbs 25. Amen. Also, um, also we want to thank God for all of our givers. Amen. Each of you who have given, amen, allowing God to bless you in your giving. You can't beat him giving no matter how you try. And you can, as usual, use the Givelify app, the PayPal account, or the U.S. Postal Service to give your offering, and if you so desire to give uh, in person, you can get an envelope and do that here in the sanctuary today, amen, before you leave here. So we're going to just uh, worship him and lift him up, amen, in, in this place today for all that he has done and all that he is doing, amen? Amen. So we just give God the praise, we give God the glory for what he is doing and for what he is going to do. Amen. We just appreciate the blessings of the Lord. At this time, we're going to uh, be favored with songs today. Amen. Our musician, our organ organist is out today, but we're going to carry on anyway. Amen. We'll let go and let God have his way. And so at this time, we're going to uh, call on our singers and our ministers of music and musicians to bless us as God leads them to bless us in this service today. Uh, let's say amen as they come.
and brought her back home safely. And you know, we can't take those things for granted, but we have to thank God for his blessings. Amen? Amen. Thank you for his goodness. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you realize it, but somebody went to bed last night and didn't wake up this morning. Amen. God has been good to all of us. He touched us on this morning and woke us up and said, live another day. You know what I mean? Amen. And so we're going to give him glory. Amen. In spite of, amen, what our struggles may be, in spite of what don't go the way we would like for it to go, amen, amen. we're going to give him glory anyway. Because he is a never-changing God. Amen? Amen? Situations change. People change. But God never changes. That's why I give him glory. That's Amen? Right. That's why I give him praise. That's, right. That's why I exalt his name. That's why I'm excited about him. That's why I continue to serve him. Because of who he is. It is found in the word of God today in Matthew chapter number 5. And verse number 16. And the word of God reads in Matthew 5 and 16. It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Amen. Amen? Amen. Let your light so shine before men that they might see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. And then in Colossians chapter 1, verse 27, it says that it is the glory, it is the glorious riches of the mystery, which is Christ in you the hope of glory. Amen? Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen? Amen? And for a subject that I would like for us to think on today, the subject is, let the sun shine. Amen? Amen? Amen. Let the sun shine. Not S-U-N, but S-O-N. Let the sun shine. Amen. You may be seated. The Lord said that if there's anything about us and about our makeup as we serve him, it ought to be people able, being able to see a light in our life. And not only that, but the Lord said we ought to let it shine. Amen? amen. I'm looking for my amen corner today. Amen. amen. We should let it shine. Yeah, that men might see our good works. Now, y'all might as well come on because I'm going to preach anyway. Right. Amen. Right. He said, you ought to let your light shine that men may see your good works. See, I, I made up my mind a long time ago. I'm not going to let the struggle of these last days stop me from doing what God gave me to do. He said, preach the gospel. I'm going to preach it. Amen. When you act right, I'm going to preach it. When you don't act right, I'm going to preach it. When it goes good, I'm going to preach it. When it goes backed up, I'm still going to preach the gospel. Amen. Amen. Because that is what my charge is, is to preach this gospel. Amen. Because the word said, if this gospel be hid, it is hid from those who are lost. Amen. We can't hide, amen, this gospel. And so the Lord said, it ought to be something about our makeup. Uh, since you've already been to the water, and uh, you've already been baptized, and already uh, been filled with the Spirit, and you got clapping in your hands, amen, you say. You got running in your feet, you say. You got joy in your soul, you say. And you got peace in your mind, amen. Well, somebody ought to be able to see a light yes. in your life. Amen. Yes. Because the Lord said, first of all, that the uh, riches of this mystery, people don't understand salvation. Well. They don't understand, amen, how God really works. 
But it said that the mystery of this whole thing is Christ is in you. You got a light in you. You got the sun in you. And people ought to be able to look past you and see the sun shining from your life. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord said, uh, it is the hope. Amen. People looking for hope in a whole lot of places. But it says the light that we let shine will bring the hope. And will bring the glory. Amen. In our lives. I don't know how you feel, but I want more glory in my life. Amen. And if you want the hope of glory, uh, you better let it shine. Amen. Amen. Uh, we had a song where they talked about uh, this little light of mine. No, no little light. It's big light. I'm going to let it shine. Yeah. Amen. And so the Lord said that uh, we have to realize that uh, the hope of glory is in us. Amen. And if you want glory in your life, you got to let the sun shine in your life. Amen. Amen. You got to take the low seat and let the sun have the high seat. Yeah. Amen. It makes me often wonder when you talk about the love for God and you talk about the commitment to God and you talk about the sun shining. Amen. If people can't see God for seeing you, is something wrong somewhere. Amen. The light ought to be shining in our lives. The Bible says that they ought to uh, see our light shining and see the work that our light shining causes us to do and give God the glory. Amen. Amen. Everybody wants a, a pat on the back. But the Lord said we shouldn't be looking for no pat on the back. But we ought to let our light shine that God might get the glory. Amen. That God might get the praise. Yes. Amen. Because that's where the glory belongs. The one songwriter said, the glory belongs to you, Lord. Amen. Amen. It's not your glory. It's not my glory. Yes. But it is the Lord's glory. Yes. So let the sun shine. Yes. The Bible tells us in the book of John, it says that uh, in, in the beginning was the word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. If you don't like the Word, you don't like God. You gotta, it's time for the people of God to fall in love with the Word of God. It's time for the people of God to fall in love with the Word of God. Not falling in love with everything else that's going on. But fall in love with the word of God. Amen. It's puzzling. And it's perplexing. And it's troubling sometimes. When you see the uh, loss of desire that people have begun to have for the word of God. They don't get excited about the word of God anymore. Amen. But you better not talk about the family feud. Amen. They don't get excited. When you talk about the sun shining in our life, but you better not talk about the playoffs. Amen. But you better check yourself out and say, now who's shining in my life, me or the sun? Because the sun ain't studying the playoffs. Amen. The sun, amen, ain't studying all that other stuff. The sun is about souls and salvation. Amen. And our priority, let me tell y'all something. The only reason why the Lord saved you and the only reason why the Lord still has you here to let your light shine so you can win somebody else to find salvation. Amen. And if that's not the priority in your life, you are not allowing the sun to shine like the Lord wants the sun to shine. Amen. Amen. So John said, uh, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God, and the same was in the beginning with God. And that all things that were made, I know y'all think y'all made something yourself, but you ain't you haven't made nothing. All, right, all things that are made, God made. Yeah, amen. You didn't make who you are. God made you. Yeah. Amen. And you better not take his credit. Yeah. You better not take his glory. Yeah. You better not take his praise. Amen. Yeah. 
because the Lord said that there was not anything made that was made that he didn't make. In him was life. If you are in him and you don't have life, there's something wrong somewhere. You better stop going through your days and your weeks existing. When God came that we might have life. And he said, not only do I want you to have life, but I want you to have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Your life, your joy should not be based on your circumstances. Y'all hear me? Some of y'all came in here today and said, oh, oh no music, no organs. I can't praise in the day. Amen. But that's not what our praise is based on. It's not based on our circumstances. All right. All right. We have to get beyond our circumstances and give God the glory. Yes. It said everything was made by him. In him was life. In him was life. If you're in him, you ought to have life. If you're in him, you ought to have joy. If you're in him, you ought to have some peace. If you're in him, you ought to have a fire burning to give him some praise. If you're in him, you ought to be able to clap your hands sometimes. You ought to be able to lift up your voice sometimes. You ought to be able to stand on your feet sometimes. You ought to be able to wave your hand sometimes. If you're in him. You go to the ball game, you don't have to worry about who the Warrior fans are. Because when Steph Curry scores, they stand up. Do y'all hear me? So people shouldn't have to worry or wonder whose side we on. Because we ought to let the sun stand up in our lives. And they ought to know, amen, that the Lord is alive and well in our lives. Amen. So the Lord said through John, he said, in him was life and life that's in him, listen at this now y'all, in John 1 and 4 and the light was the light of men the light do y'all hear me, the light was the light of men, the life you live in Christ is what's going to light the way for somebody else to see Christ's glory and see the need for Christ and find salvation it said the light was the light of men. And the light shine, shineth in darkness. Yeah. Amen. As dark as this world is right now, if your light can't shine, you don't have one. Yeah. Well. The darker it gets, the brighter the light shines. You hear me? You can get in a big open field where there's no light from out to mouth, but if you strike a match. It's going to throw out the light. Amen. Do y'all hear me? Amen. So he says, in the light that shineth in darkness, and the darkness did not, the darkness comprehended it not. Some of y'all letting the darkness of the world put your light out and cause your sun in you not to shine. You've lost your joy. You've lost your determination. Right. You've lost your fight. Yes. Just look around you. Look around the sanctuary today. Look around, amen, and see how many people found something else to do. And if you ask them, they have a good excuse. That's because they have lost the fight to give God the glory. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God wants somebody that's going to run to the church with joy, ready to praise, ready to give him glory, ready to be the amen corner, ready to send up a hallelujah, and let the sun shine. Amen. The world can't stop us if we let the sun shine. Do y'all hear me? The world can't stop us if we let the sun shine. If we let our life be a light to somebody shining bright in a troubled world, it will help somebody. You can't go to somebody's pity party and get right with them in the pity. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. 
but you got to let your light shine. Amen. The word of God tells us that Jesus, he spoke to the people and he said, I am the light of the world. Do y'all hear me? He is the light of the world. And not only is he the light of the world, he said, I am the light of the world, and he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. If you don't have no light, you must not be following Jesus. Some folk are following everybody but Jesus. Everybody but Jesus. And they ought to start calling Sunday morning time for the clown show. Because these folk all over this country, and since Facebook went up, they get on Facebook acting a plum fool, lying on God, talking about what God said, talking about what God gonna do. They lying and the truth ain't in it. And you know they lied if you put the word up against it. God does not want a sideshow in the church. God said preach the gospel. Preach the word. And if you preach the word it will take care of everything else. Let your light shine in the dark world in which we're living. Keep your joy. Keep your peace. Keep your determination. Keep hope alive. Yeah. And this ain't coming from Jesse Jackson either. Right this is coming from big time Jesus. Keep hope alive. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. By letting your light shine. Amen? amen. Because the Lord said that, amen, we have the light and we have the light. And the word of God tells us in the book of Acts, uh, when they saw the boldness of Peter, when you let the sun shine, you're going to have some boldness. Amen. Uh, I've never seen so many people scared to tell somebody about Jesus. So many people scared to say, I've already been to the water. I've already been baptized. Already, already been filled with the Spirit. Already running for my life. Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. We ought to let the sun shine so until People will look at us and ask somebody what's wrong with them. Uh, you tell them that they're running for their life. They're giving God the glory. Amen. Uh, they see the urgency of the time uh, and they want to give God the glory. Uh, the Bible said that they saw the boldness of Peter and John. Uh, amen. If the sun is shining in your life, uh, you're going to have some holy boldness. Amen. Uh, you'll be able to go tell the drug addict that God can bring you out. Uh, you'll be able to tell the alcoholic uh, God can change your life. Uh, you can be able to tell the broken marriage God can put the pieces back together again. Uh, we need to let the world know uh, it's time to let God be uh, the man of the circumstances of our life. Uh, if you want it to change, uh, just put God in it uh, and everything uh, will change. Amen. Uh, the Bible says that they saw the boldness of Peter and John uh, and it perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. Uh, you see, people would try to size you up. Uh, they said, well, I know they didn't go to college. Uh, They'll say, well, I know they don't have a degree, uh, so they will try to size you up. Uh, but they will be making a big mistake uh, when you have the sun shining in your life. Uh, because when the Lord gets in you uh, and start working in your life, uh, you will go beyond expectations. Uh, because that's the way God is. Uh, the Bible says that they looked at Peter and John uh, and they see. These men uh, haven't been to college. Uh, they perceived, they man, uh, they didn't appear to be smart uh, when it came to the way of the world. Uh, but it says uh, they marveled uh, and they took knowledge of them uh, because they saw what they were able to do. Uh, 
They saw God moving. Uh, they saw God working miracles. Uh, and the Bible says that when they saw what they done, uh, they perceived that they had been with Jesus uh, and that he was the light of their life. Uh, and they were walking in the light uh, and God was changing lives. Uh, the Bible lets us know uh, that there was a man uh, who was a ruler, uh, a man uh, by the name of Nicodemus. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, when you let your light shine, uh, you don't know who's watching you. Uh, somebody's watching you. Uh, and when you let your light shine, uh, you will make an impact uh, to help change somebody's life. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, I feel something stirred up uh, because God gave us the charge uh, that we can change the world. Uh, it will not be the same uh, if we walk like God said walk. Uh, it will not be the same uh, if we use what God said use. Uh, it will not be the same. Uh, the Bible says Nicodemus, uh, he came to Jesus by night, uh, you know, some people, uh, they don't want to come to you uh, where no one can see them. Uh, but they've been watching you. And they want to know how can they uh, get the help that they need. Uh, and the Bible tells us Nicodemus, uh, he had a position uh, when it came to the world. Uh, so he came to Jesus by night. Uh, you know, some people think that uh, they're too educated for Jesus. Uh, they're too elected for Jesus. Uh, they're too experienced for Jesus. Uh, but Nicodemus was troubled uh, when he heard about Jesus. Uh, out of all that he had in his life, uh, he didn't have an experience with Jesus. Uh, so he went to Jesus uh, by night. Uh, and he said that I know you are a teacher uh, and I know that you come from God. Uh, he said, I've been watching you. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, he said, I've been watching you uh, and I know that nobody uh, can do what you do uh, except God be with them. Uh, nobody uh, can heal the sick uh, except God be with them. Uh, nobody uh, can pray for the lame. Uh, and they walk again uh, except God be with them. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, is God with you? Uh, and if he's with you, uh, what change uh, are you going to help bring about uh, what somebody will say? Uh, I didn't think it could be, uh, but God help me uh, through the light that they had shining. Uh, they will come to you. Tell me how uh, can God bring me out? Uh, tell me how uh, can I get my peace of mind? Uh, tell me how uh, I can put suicide on the run. Uh, tell me how uh, I can put depression on the run. Uh, I'm telling y'all this real world, uh, real problems uh, with real people. Uh, but we serve a real God. Uh, he said, uh, if you let the sun shine, uh, you can change somebody's life. Uh, if you let the sun shine, uh, you can be a blessing to somebody. Uh, if you let the sun shine, uh, when you walk in a room, uh, the atmosphere will not be the same. Uh, when you let the sun shine, uh, when you cross their paths, uh, they will feel something moving uh, because the sun is shining. Uh, and so Nicodemus, amen, uh, he told Jesus, uh, he said, I know that you are uh, a man sent from God. Uh, and I see the sun shining. Uh, I see the light in your life. Uh, the Bible tells us uh, through Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 4 says that, the path of the just uh, is as the shining light uh, that shineth more and more. Uh, the Lord said every day with Jesus, uh, you ought to be more like him. Uh, every day with him, uh, your light ought to shine more uh, because the light, amen, uh, 
It ought to be more and more. Uh, and Proverbs said it shines more and more uh, until the perfect day. Uh, because the light shining. Uh, Proverbs said uh, that the light of the righteous uh, rejoices in it. Amen. Uh, the word of God says in Genesis. Uh, and God said, uh, let there be light. Uh, and there was light. Uh, you ought to let the devil know uh, you're not going to kill my joy. Uh, you're not going to stop my praise. Uh, you're not going to shut me down. Uh, because God said, uh, let there be light. Uh, and I'm going to let the light shine. Uh, I'm going to let it shine so uh, until somebody is blessed. Uh, I'm going to let it shine so uh, I can put the devil out. Uh, I can put him on the run. Uh, when I let it shine, uh, the Lord said when you let it shine, uh, you can resist the devil uh, and he will flee from you. Uh, when you let it shine, uh, you can draw nigh to God uh, and God will draw nigh to you. Uh, is there anybody uh, in this house uh, who wants to let the sun shine? Uh, let him shine. Uh, let him shine on Monday. Let him shine on Tuesday. Let him shine on Wednesday. Let him shine on Thursday. Let him shine on Friday. Let him shine on Saturday. Let him shine on Sunday. Let him shine when you're in the valley. Let him shine when you're in the storm. Let him shine when you can't see your way. Let him shine when you feel like it. Let him shine when you don't feel like it. Let him shine when you're winning. Let him shine when it don't look like you're going to win. Because the sun, if the sun shine in you, uh, it will make an impact uh, and the situation uh, cannot be the same uh, the Lord said uh, with God uh, all things uh, are now possible uh, when you let it shine uh, anything is possible uh, when you let it shine uh, anything can happen uh, when you let it shine uh, the way is already made uh, when you let it shine uh, the door is already open uh, when you let it shine uh, the Lord is already at work uh, you need to tell the devil uh, you need to get on up out of here uh, because God is at work in my life uh, and I'm going to let it shine. Uh, I'm going to give him glory. Uh, and matter of fact, devil, uh, you see what I'm battling with? Uh, you see my valleys. Uh, you see my storms. Uh, you see my mountains. Uh, but I want to let you know uh, I'm going to let this light shine. Uh, and I'm not going to wait uh, until the battle's over. Uh, I'm going to let it shine now. Uh, I'm not going to wait uh, till the storm is over. Uh, I'm going to let it shine now. Uh, I'm not going to wait uh, until I feel all right. Uh, but I'm going to let it shine now. Uh, I'm not going to wait uh, until it looks good. Uh, but I'm going to let it shine now. Uh, I'm going to let it shine. Uh, let it shine. Uh, let it shine. Let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. Hallelujah. Let the sun shine. Hallelujah. It cannot remain the same if you let the sun shine. Let it shine. Amen. No matter what that lying devil say, let it shine. Because God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. Y'all hear me? Above all that you can ask or even think about him doing in your life. I said God can do exceedingly. Abundantly. Now who in the world puts words like that together right behind one another but God? 
You told somebody, you say, how you doing? You say, I'm doing exceedingly and abundantly. They say, they lost their mind. But God can talk like that. He said, I can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think. Now you tell me why wouldn't your light be shining? Well, well. Let the sun shine. Amen. And tell yourself every day, self, the glory belongs to him. The glory belongs to the Lord. And I'm going to let it shine. God bless you. God keep you. Let it shine. And give him the glory. In Jesus' name.